everybody. So welcome to our James E. Walker Library. Um, this is our most high traffic building on campus. We have lots of students coming through here, especially during exam time. There are students all through here and all of the nice study spaces with all of our whiteboards throughout the building. So I'm going to take you floor by floor on the different resources that we have in here. So if you look over in this direction, this is where our circulation desk is. You can check out up to 50 books at a time and you don't have to remember a return date because they are just due at the end of the semester. So as long as you have all your books turned in before you leave, you will be set. Also right next to the circulation desk is our reserves desk. So there you can um, ask your professors to put their textbooks on reserve so that you don't have to spend the money to rent or buy that textbook. You can just um, ask them to put it over there and then when you need the textbook you can just go and um, look at it and then you don't have to spend the money on it. Um, in the back of the first floor is our tutoring spot. So that offers free tutoring for all students on campus. We have all subjects. You could get biology, you could get um, physics, you could get English tutoring. All of that can happen back there and they are student tutors who have made A's in these classes. And usually the departments know who will be back there tutoring what at what time so that you uh, know what you're getting when you get back there. Also, part of the way down this hallway is our technology desk. Our technology desk is where you can check out anything electronics. You can get computers, you can get um, calculators, you can get ethernet cords, anything that you need doesn't cost anything. And then you can also go there to get your own laptop fixed. So if something goes wrong, if you're having trouble connecting to the internet, anything like that, you can go to the technology desk and they will help you out with that process. Um, up on the second floor in this corner over here is our maker space. So that is our generally our high tech area of campus. So that is where you'll get things like virtual reality or um, 3D printers, laser cutters, vinyl etchers, all of those things you can get up there. Um, and it's just a 45 minute class you need to take for them to train you on the equipment and after that you can do what you want. You can spend as much time up there. You have to bring your own materials but you can spend as much time on the machines and, and stuff as you want up there. Um, we also have our Mac computers there that are connected to the virtual reality and other things. So if you prefer Macs, that would be the place to go. Um, besides that, the rest of our library does have uh, PCs and black and white printing. Um, the Makerspace has the colored printing. So all of our printing is free all over campus. You don't have to spend any money on that. You don't have to worry about bringing any cash or anything for that. Um, and then over on the third floor over here is our University Writing Center where you can get help on any stage of your writing process. So they can help you not just with writing but also with presentations or anything that you need in that area. Um, they work with lab reports also so if you maybe aren't writing a lot of papers but maybe you're a science person then you want help with your lab report they will help you with that. So you can get a person to actually meet with you regularly to help you through the process or maybe you just want somebody to proofread a paper that you've written or to help you think through ideas for something they can help you with all stages of that writing process. Um, we do organize our library where the first two floors are group study and talking floors and top two floors are better for quiet studying. So we actually have designated quiet areas on those uh, third and fourth floors so that if you like that type of environment, you will get a very quiet space. There are cubicles you can sit in, you can go in study rooms, anything like that to stay secluded and silent during your study time. If you like a group and you want to spend a lot of time with your friends or maybe you want to eat lunch with your friends while you're studying, anything like that, then the first two floors would be a great place to do that. Um, we also offer rooms that you can reserve online for studying. So those are on the fourth floor um, and they all have a computer, a table, and a whiteboard in them so that you can uh, do as much studying as you want. There are some larger ones that you can use to practice presentations so you can actually record yourself doing your presentation and um, watch it back and help fix your uh, presentation that way. Um, so all of those you reserve online for about four hours at a time. They hold anywhere from two to ten people um, and they if they're not reserved then they're just first come first serve. But as long as they're reserved you have that room for yourself and for your group to study. Um, the last thing we do organize our or we do have the hours of our library as 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. throughout the week basically so basically you can always be in the library and there is a Starbucks in our library open from 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. so you can basically always be in the library and always get Starbucks and I know I've been that person in the library at 2 a.m. being kicked out with my like huge glass of coffee so you can spend as much time in here as you'd like. 